Site Modeler Pro can allow you to run the shadow analysis. First, change the sun and shadow settings by setting the location of the project. Then setting the desired date and time to perform shadow analysis. Then, you can select the based objects. The objects from linked element are also supported. If you pick on the object which has been selected before, it will be removed from the current selection. Once you have done with the selection, press Escape to finish. Step 3. Define settings to run the shadow analysis. Choose the 3D view to run the shadow analysis from the list. The corresponding sun and shadow settings for that view will be shown. To display the analysis result for study or documentation, you can select to create filled regions for the shadow areas. Due to the limitation of Revit, the boundary of field region can be slightly changed but the actual calculated area will not be affected. You have to choose a plan view as well as a filled region type to show the filled region. Another option is that you can select to show the 3D of the shadow in form of generic model. This is more accurate than showing the with the filled regions. After finishing the shadow analysis, the result will be shown on the dialog. There are two types of shadow area analyzed. The first one is the surface area which is the actual area of the element, considering the inclined surface. The second one is the horizontal area which is the surface area projected on a horizontal plane. This type of area is equivalent to the area of filled regions on plan view. For each type of area, the tool will calculate the total area, the area which is covered by the shadow, and the shadow coverage in percentage.